Welcome to Raw Sports TV 23. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And we're here to discuss today. The NBA is constantly rigging games for the LA Lakers to try to push them into uh, the playoffs just like they did last year and kind of historically um, for the Lakers team. We know last year the Lakers who had missed the play-in the year before which LeBron said he hated the play-in and ended up benefiting last year making the play-in as the Lakers who struggled to get into the play-in started receiving favorable calls from the NBA um, after the Boston series or the Boston game when the Lakers played Boston last year ended up going to overtime and losing the game where LeBron James felt he was fouled on the on the play which he drove to the basket and he was hit by Tatum which he was fouled and they missed it however if they would have called the travel before that play because LeBron took three steps they could have went either way but with that being said after then the LA Lakers started receiving double the free throws by every game they played against their opponent they would take at least 15 more free throws and their opponent's free throws began to shrink drastically now if I'm not mistaken last year uh, the Denver Nuggets were third in points in the paint maybe the Philadelphia 76ers were, were uh, number two Lakers were like six in the paint and they still took more than I believe the New York Knicks who might have been number one in points in the paint and so you got to ask yourself how is it that the number six team or uh, the number six team in rank when it comes to points in the paint takes more free throws than the team that's number one ranked in the paint and also throughout the playoffs they also took more free throws than the Denver Nuggets and the Golden State Warriors uh, in the Denver Nuggets series they shot twice as more free throws but the Denver Nuggets they just were too good and they were able to outdo them um, because of their skill level Lakers did not have enough to stop Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets had too much firepower but once again here this season we are going through the same thing as they played the Houston Rockets who blew them out one time and then this time tonight they take 29 free throws and the Houston Rockets ended up who's averaging 20 free throws a game they end up taking uh, only 9 in this game they played the Blazers who are pretty much pathetic uh, in the play-in so they have an easy play-in schedule playing Memphis playing uh, the Blazers and the Utah Jazz who don't even have a 50% winning record and they had to shrink the free throws of the Portland Trail Blazers uh, down to about 7 um, free throws when they played the LA Lakers and the LA Lakers were taking uh, 15, 20 more free throws than the Portland Trail Blazers just to win and in the game against Houston they had to take double the free throws just to win only by one point and why is this why is it that Adam Silver is so in love with LeBron James in his 21st season when there's other talent around the NBA that they could push there's other uh, personnel there's other teams that they could push but he constantly tries to promote LeBron and I'm just gonna put a clip in here LeBron went up against Miami Heat and the Lakers and the Lakers ended up losing that game by two points and LeBron immediately goes and starts complaining to the NBA and criticizing the refs which you're not supposed to which was a fine Paul George criticized the refs this season and already received a $36,000 fine but LeBron I guess he is above the rules and the NBA won't even step up and Adam Silver is spineless and won't even step up and do something about it LeBron Darvin told us that he was teed up um, based on the feedback he was giving to the referees, not feeling like there was consistency, um, an explanation for ways of being called, and also he said uh, LeBron's not flopping out there, uh, and he's only getting four free throw attempts. How do you feel like you've been, you were officiated tonight and this season? 
Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the, the explanations of what they're telling me are not consistent with what's actually happening on the floor. Um, you know, when I went for the dunk attempt against Thomas Bryant, he clearly felt like arm straight across my face. And I asked him the explanation. They said, well, one of the refs said he was straight up, hands straight in there. Two of the other refs said they would block it and see it. Um, one of my transition plays, um, I was going to transition, got fouled, nobody saw it. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to, I'm going over respectfully and telling them what's going on in the play. And um, I consistently go to the line three or four times a game, sometimes not even at all, you know, which is weird. Um, so, you know, just got to keep driving, keep putting pressure on the rim. And uh... let's take a look. Austin Reeves, right here, has the ball, shoots it, but he is not even fouled. They call a foul on number four for the Houston Rockets. It was a clean block. And there you go. Let's look right here. Houston is driving the ball. Uh, the ball was knocked back in bounds. Um, and the Houston Rockets player caught it, but uh, they turned the ball back over and given it to the Lakers when it was clearly off on the Lakers. Uh, let's look right here. Now, Dylan Brooks did commit a foul on LeBron James, but the refs need to go check and see if this was a flagrant foul. They need to see if this was a flagrant foul. Now, if you're from the 90s, you know darn well this isn't a flagrant foul. If you watch any basketball in the 80s or 90s, he just went for the block, and they were trying to give him more free throws. Luckily, they didn't do it. Um, but this tells you what type of rig you're up against when you face the L.A. Lakers. They're trying their best to promote LeBron, get him there because he's the cash cow. When actually, he has to be carried by a bunch of superstars. Because anytime he loses the game, oh, he needs more help. Lakers furious. The they thought he was fouled. Time. Oh, Jimmy, and it's now overtime. So, LeBron James so upset. Regulation is over. We go to the five-minute OT. Hopefully, Lakers furious. They thought he was fouled. Oh, Jimmy, and it's now overtime. LeBron James so upset. Regulation is over. We go to the five-minute OT. 